Hello and welcome to this video tutorial for the pro edition of Crazy Talk 7. So this will be a three part series that will cover all the advanced out of motion settings for the new Crazy Talk 7 Pro. So let me close this up and I will show you that when you get Crazy Talk 7 Pro, you will get up to 60 new assets in your content manager. This includes projects like singing in the shower. Three o'clock in the morning, baby. You come dragging to my door. Flirting. Oh, wow. That's so interesting. Or a freestyle rap. Hey, yo, check it. Yo, I'm rhyming off the top of the head. So I got to get these words right or I won't get fed. You see? Additionally, you will be getting uh, automotion templates that come with the software. Inside Functional, you will have muscle enhancements, rolling eyes templates, and the time offset templates. So all of these automotion templates are designed to use your voice energy to animate your character's facial body parts, facial muscles, or body parts, which include the, the shoulders, okay? One other thing you will notice is down here at the bottom of the icons, on the bottom left, if you have a small little black triangle, that means that this content was des designed exclusively for the Pro Edition of Crazy Talk 7. So let's see what we can do. What is the difference mainly with Crazy Talk 7 Standard and the Pro version? So here I have a project that I made in Standard and one in Pro. I use the same voice energy for both of them. So let's take a look. Okay, now let's take a look at the Pro uh, project I made. Okay, so it's a big enhancement. And all of this was done with the new Out of Motion panel. So it will go up here, and this is what you will get in Crazy Talk 7 Pro. Okay, so we have three areas. We have the parts area, which includes settings to move your body and also to move your head. And we also have the muscles or the part areas where you can choose specific facial muscles you can control um, with the audio file. And at the end, we have the global settings. This includes all the previous settings that we covered in Crazy Talk Standard. So if you remember in Crazy Talk Standard, we had this auto motion settings panel. We had strength, threshold, smooth, and spring. So we covered all these functions in our previous tutorial titled auto motion animation. Okay, so you can go to the training resources page and down here we have that tutorial for the basic auto motion panel. And you can watch this again to refresh your memory. So in Crazy Talk Standard, I'm sorry, in Crazy Talk 7 Pro, we have the same features that will control all these body parts. Okay, so in this tutorial, I will show you how we used these new features to create a, a lively um, animation project. So let me first load my character with the beat, the musical beat we have. Okay. And I will reset all now. Okay, so now I'm going to show you all these settings and how to use them in combination. So the first one here on the first section on the left is for body move and body rotate. And on the right is for head move and head rotate. So the body will include the shoulders and the head. But for the head, obviously it's just the head. Okay, so let's try something. I will have my body move towards the right and I will preview this. Okay, and I can have my body move towards the right also, or towards the front, or back, okay, and you can set combinations if you'd like. Okay, pretty easy. We also have body rotate, 
where you could use this to swing your body counterclockwise or clockwise. Okay, let's reset that. And now I, I will show you the head move and head rotate. Okay, so for head rotate, we do the same. I can have my head rotate upwards or downwards. Right. or left, or have it slightly go clockwise or counterclockwise, okay? And the last one is for the head move, left and front. So you can set your own combinations. Now the next part I want to show you is the offset function. The offset is basically an anticipation to, to, the anime, to the beat or a delay. So for example, if I have my head move towards the right and then I drop this value, that means that my head will start, um, will start the motion three frames prior to, to when the beat kicks in. Remember, all of this is being automatically generated by the same voice energy. Okay, so let's try something here. I will set this back to zero. And now I will anticipate this by, let's say, 10 frames. And I can do the opposite. I can delay this by 10 frames now. Okay, pretty simple. Let me reset this now. So now let me show you how you can uh, use this in combinations. So I will move this towards the right. Let's preview. And then I will anticipate this. And I will move my head upwards. And then you will see how we will generate a circular motion with this offset function. Okay, this is because since we are anticipating that right movement, so by the time the beat kicks in and the head goes up, the right side is already being released and the head is coming back towards the center. Okay, let me reset that. And now the next part is where I want to show you what the ping pong function does. And basically ping pong is just another word for alternate, where I can set a parameter, let's say towards the left, and if I ping pong this, then my character's head will move from left to right, from right to left. And this is being controlled by the peaks of the voice energy. So every time you have a peak that goes over the upper limit threshold or below the lower limit, then that direction will change. This, this goes the same for up and down and back and front. So let's try this. Okay, pretty neat stuff. So you can imagine that if you use the offset with the ping pong, you can literally create very interesting combinations. So let's reset this and let's try to do something on our own. Okay, so before we start, I'd like to mention something. This is a little trick you can do. If you wanna create a very natural, organic animation, it's always important to pick a body part. That can be a facial um, muscle or a body part that will start that animation, meaning that that's the first part that will move. You can set an anticipation for that part, and then you can have the rest of the body parts follow suit. So you can set an anticipation for the head and then have the body follow, or you can have an anticipation for the body and then have the head follow the body movement, okay? So let's do this. Let's try to create an anticipation with the head, and I will set some parameters here. I will bring this up and I will anticipate this but let, by let's say minus five and let's preview. Okay, I want the, the head to move left and right by 18 and we will ping pong this. Okay, so we have an anticipation with my head moving up. So I, since I am moving my head upwards, I want to rotate my head upwards too. So let's increase this value. 
and I will anticipate this by five this time. Let's see what it looks like. Okay, a little subtle rotation there. And again, remember, since we created a ping pong effect when the head moves left and right, then I want to do the same for head rotate. So let's go to 18 here. And I will ping pong this. Looking good, looking good. Okay, let's go back to the head. And I will move this oh, forward by, let's say, three or four. Okay. And I will rotate, I will swing my head counterclockwise and clockwise. And I will delay this one. And let's ping pong it too. Let's see what it looks like without the ping pong first. See, you see that little, that slight rotation there towards the right. So let's ping pong this now. Now it's rotating towards the left also, counterclockwise. Awesome stuff, almost there. So now I want the body move. I want to, to, to set some functions in here. So I will have my body bounce downwards and I want it to go forward a bit, say right there. And we can see what it looks like. And that looks pretty good. Now, if I wish to to delay my body, remember I mentioned about having uh, one specific part lead the animation and having the other one follow. So we anticipated the head going up. So why don't we delay the head going, uh, the body going um, down? C3. And we can increase this value. Or lower it. Or we can just get rid of it if we want to. Okay, and I can preview this or just apply to my main character now. So that's how easy it is to create amazing looking organic animations in the new Crazy Talk 7 Pro. So stay tuned for part two. We're going to show you how to use the muscle enhancements for the auto motion settings. Thank you.